Hello crafters! This video will show you how to set up, cut out, and score a packaging obsession design with the Cricut software. This tutorial is useful for those not familiar with using Cricut Design Space or a Cricut scoring tool. I'll be using the packaging obsession bookmark envelope and sleeve design to demonstrate how it works. If you purchased a different packaging design and you only want to find out how to assemble it, please check the assembly tutorial included in the file you downloaded. I'll start with a general explanation of the files. You may have already successfully purchased and downloaded the zip file. If purchased on Etsy, the file will have been sent to you via a confirmation email, or you can go to your Etsy profile, then click Purchases and Reviews, and download the file from there. Make sure to unzip the file first. On Windows, this means you right-click with the mouse button and select Extract All. On a Mac, you simply double-click the file. Next, connect and turn on your Cricut and open the Cricut Design Space software. When it's ready, click on the menu bar on the top left and select Canvas. On the new screen, select Upload then upload image. Go to browse and then go into the file you downloaded. Click on SVG files and choose the size or style that you want. I'll be choosing the medium design for resin bookmarks. With many packaging obsession designs, you will have two or three options for creating fold lines. If you own a scoring tool for your Cricut machine, such as a scoring wheel or scoring pen, select the scoring tool option. This means your Cricut will create the folding lines itself. If you don't have a scoring tool, you can either have the Cricut make perforated fold lines with the fine blade, or you can have the Cricut cut out the main design and score the fold lines yourself with a manual scoring tool. If I don't have a scoring tool to hand, then I find the corner of a ruler works well, or a ballpoint pen with no ink. So, let's choose a template using the Cricut Scoring tool, and let's select an elegant embellishment design for this video. Click Upload. Then select the file you uploaded, and click Add to Canvas. Now here, if you want to instruct your machine to do the whole project on the same piece of card, just make sure all the elements are selected and click Attach. If you just want to cut out one part of the design, such as this envelope, you can always delete the other element. Next, and this part's important, select the element where you want your Cricut to score and change it from Basic Cut to Score. When you click off the element, it should show as dotted lines like this. If you forget to do this step, your Cricut is going to try and cut the fold lines, which will leave you with some messy results. Now for those without a machine scoring tool, as I said before, you can use the fine blade method or you can score it manually. With the fine blade, your Cricut will cut perforated lines along your design for easy folding. And manually, it will only cut out the outline so you can score it yourself. With both these methods, you don't have to change anything to the design within the software. Just remember to attach the elements if you want them both to cut out on the same piece of card. So, when you're ready to start cutting, click Make It. Then click Continue. Here you want to choose your base material. Either the medium or heavy cardstock is the best depending on the thickness of the card. I've been able to cut card up to about 310 GSM using the heavy cardstock option and more pressure. However, this won't always cut through cleanly and you'll generally get better results with a medium thick card. I'm using a 220 GSM card in this video, so I'm choosing the medium option but I'll keep it on more pressure. I find Cricut is sometimes too light with its cutting. 
Sometimes it'll just be a bit of trial and error before you get a feel for what pressure to use with what card type. So now, just follow the instructions of your Cricut. Load in your scoring wheel and let it start scoring. Once it's done, you'll be instructed to load in your fine blade. Put it into the slot where the scoring wheel was and press the button to tell your Cricut to continue. And there you have it. Your design has been scored and cut, or if you use the fine blade or manual methods, it has simply been cut. You can now assemble your design so that it's ready to show off your beautiful creations. For more details on assembly, check out the relevant tutorial included in the file you purchased, or check out my channel to see lots more designs. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, as well as other content to help small businesses and crafters. Happy crafting!